authorities right now. Mexico City has emerged as one of the culinary capitals of the world, mixing flavors and ingredients unique to the region with sophisticated international flair. Now that authentic cuisine is here. This morning, Gary's on the go in Roseville at La Papillar, a restaurant like no other. This place looks incredible, Gary. It really does. As soon as I saw from the outside, I was super impressed. And when I came in, even took it to a whole nother level. Joe, thanks for inviting us in, man. Absolutely. Thanks the, for being here. This is really neat. All right, so we, we all know Eureka right next door. You guys are kind of partners with Eureka. That's kind of, that, that's neat. I didn't know what was here before. It was nothing. Now you guys are here. And tell us a little bit about, you know, uh, the place. Because it's, it's, it looks unique to me. Yeah, it's very unique. Uh, we have brought a lot of the same feel from Mexico City that we've had, or that, that you see here. Uh -huh. uh, we brought in the open kitchen. You see the live trumpos in the uh, afternoon or in the evening, so you get that live fire effect. And, you know, really just having uh, all the cooks in front and making fresh tortillas to order. And uh, it's very authentic from what we're doing in Mexico. I love that. And this is the only one, La Popular, in the United States. Th that is correct. The right one here and in only Roseville. here in Roseville. How lucky are yeah. we? All right, now behind us over here is the food. We got to show you this food because yeah. this I now this again I, I you know I've seen a lot of different types of Mexican cuisine but like uh, you know like this fish I, I haven't seen that so let's go over some of the items tell us where you kind of get these ideas from yeah absolutely so this is uh the, we'll start with the fish this is our divorciado so we use uh, two different types of adobo it's a green adobo okay red adobo it's the same like we use on our pastor tacos nice uh and this is kind of just something that you get uh coastal cuisine in Mexico you'll find it in many places uh but we this is our our flair on it, you can see it's a very beautiful presentation. Uh, comes with, again, like I said, our a fresh made tortillas. We're using a local heirloom organic uh, masa to make these tortillas. Love that. And I love it, like you said, you do it at, right here in house. Yeah. All fresh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the, you don't get any better than that. Okay. Yeah. So you got the fish, uh, your tacos, and things look a little bit different. Explain some of those. Yeah. So this one I would say is probably the house specialty. This is the pastor. We cook this on the trumpo. It takes an hour and a half to get that trumpo built, uh, marinate the pork. Um, and then, you know, it has the grilled pineapple on top. This nice. is uh, that we shave down so you can come down and see uh, whoever's working that window. It really comes down to, again, the tortillas and the meat. That's the, 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 the main components of any good taco yeah. is great tortilla, great meat. So we take a lot of care in those two things. And that's really what you see here. I think this is another uh, favorite is our campechano taco Ooh. so it has ribeye it has chorizo it has some chicharron on top and then our house made guac as well fantastic and look at this one i'm looking at. i've been eyeing that one yeah what is well, this one this looks really these good these are our ribeye fajitas so okay. it's our play on fajitas you have our uh spring onions you have jalapenos potatoes uh top with some manchego cheese and then our mexican flag guac sour cream and pico de gallo wow so I've got a new favorite place. <laughs> okay, and then and these, uh, is this like a kind of like an ahi thing or something? Yes, this is our okay. ahi tuna tostada. We have oh, uh, a chipotle on. mayo on the yeah. bottom. And then uh, we use our LP sauce, uh, which is a kind of a soy-based sauce on the tuna. And then some fried leeks on top and uh, the avocado. Mm. Um, and then we also have some really great desserts. Okay, um, is that what this one is here? Yep, yeah, we have our... Uh, Tres leches cake here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, this is our meringue on top. Oh, okay. Oh, we got and a few more seconds. Give us a few more go. seconds. Okay. We're there you go. Just so then. Torch this. Oh, I love that. Look how that hat. Oh, you know, and I know, I know Richard's back there. He loves the sweets. So and there we go. You, you need a little tres leches with some caramel on top. Oh, come on. And then we always like to finish it with some popped amaranth. What are those? This is popped amaranth. We also pop these nice. in hands. In house, sorry. In house. There you go. And uh, this is our Slide Chris cheese cake. Yeah. How beautiful is that? All right, Joe. Man, we're out of time, but this is just a few things, uh, you know, on the menu. Uh, you've been open for about three weeks now, so yep. come on down, check it out. If you don't know exactly where we are, Eureka's been around a long time. You know exactly where they are, uh, right. right on Gibson, right yeah. by, yeah. right behind the Galleria. You can't miss it. Enjoy La Popular, the first one here in the United States, right here in Roseville, right out of Mexico City. We'll see you here. Thanks, man. From all right, back to you. Appetizers man, to that's the good. dessert. Look at all that stuff. That looks fantastic, La Popular. Gary, thank you so much. Wow, mouth-watering. All right, 827 right now. You see workers strike.